Ladies and gentlemen, or kaise ho yahan pe gaand phadgi now ladies and gentlemen, today I got you with some banging ass Black Ops 1 gameplay. Look at that. I mean, drop a thumbs up. Come on guys, for this gameplay drop a thumbs up. But guys, I'm gonna lay it down for you and there's a video I want to show you and we have the homie Blame Truth laying smack down for them chumps out there. This is absolutely crazy, guys. I just cannot compute this at this point, man. I don't know what's happening. I feel like that Activision is getting cucked by them Infinity Turret devs out there. I genuinely feel like that. It's not Activision's fault, bro. I really do believe that. This is crazy. Surely you're not gonna hear this news on them Disney Call of Duty cha <laughs> channels. It's not gonna happen, okay? That's not gonna happen. Now, roll this clip, okay? Because the homie Blame Truth just went in gang gang, guys. be a sequel to yesterday's commentary, a direct sequel. Um, we'll call it Terminator 2 because it's gonna be dealing with AI that want to kill us all, essentially. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, yesterday... The AI thing is actually getting out of hands, guys. Yeah, I was covering a Himmelmat Expo, and I mentioned that the, it looks like the map was designed by AI. It didn't Bruh. look like a human being designed the map. It looks great. You know, does it play well? I've heard people, and I've seen people play it on Twitch and stuff. Uh, I've heard people saying that it doesn't play very well. And uh, I also saw that the domination flags seem to be placed almost randomly. They don't seem to be, to be placed by human Man. beings. They're not balanced. Another day, another controversy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just some of the most insane thing ever. You're, you don't, I don't think you understand. Activision is paying all these bimbos, all these bozos to fix the game, make content, make new Call of Duty games. They turn around and they are buffing a barrel that doesn't exist in the, doesn't exist in the game. Toxic gamers are finding out about this and they're saying that, but it doesn't exist in the game. They're literally fixing what's not even in the game. I mean, talk about cucking Activision. In, in a way, like, I don't even blame Activision. In a way, I'm like, bruh, like, uh, Infinity War devs, honestly, uh, they're probably they're sick and tired of Activision BS, so they just woke up one day and they were like, okay, bruh. bruh. Let us just fix stuff and put BS over on the patch notes and make them believe that we're working on the game, but they're actually not even working. <laughs> they're not even working on the game. That is insane. And now the controversy and the conspiracy here, it seems like everyday kind of situation here, guys. Like there is nothing going on with Call of Duty, but one thing that's always going on is the controversy and the toxic gamers, man. Toxic, toxic gamers are literally everywhere. And listen, man, they're calling me and you as toxic gamers. But the controversy and the conspiracy here is that the map they recently dropped in the game has been not made by the devs, but made by AI. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know about this guy. And this is something that no matter how bad a Call of Duty game is, they know how to place flags and objectives and stuff. This is the first time I've really seen this to my knowledge. I could be wrong, I could be missing something in a previous game, but wrong. this is the first time I've seen domination flags that look like this. The B flag is Bruh. not typically where a B flag should be. Even the opening spawn flags aren't really where the opening spawn flag should be. It looks like it was designed by AI. And maybe, just maybe, this was designed by a human being, mostly human beings. And maybe today's design decision is- Stop, stop the, cap. the cap. A human being error. And if that's the case, then God no help way. these devs because they are dumb as fuck. They see a stop sign <laughs> on the road while they're drinking their soy latte. Toxic gamers! And they're driving their Priuses to, to work. And they see the stop sign and they stop about 40 feet after the stop sign and cause a huge wreck and explosion. That must be how slow their brains work. Check, bro, you look at this banging ass. Black Ops 1 gameplay. We have homies flying and guys, these homies were f flying for absolutely free. Or I should say like you had to pay $60 for the campaign, but I'll, I can do that all over again, man. If they bring back that Black Ops 1 remaster, Black Ops 2 remaster. Yo, time out, okay? Which remaster would you love? Modern Warfare 3? Modern Warfare 2 MP, so far they haven't dropped it, but probably not gonna, they're saving it for a rainy day, that's what we're hearing from the rumors and the leaks. But, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, or Modern Warfare 2. I would go with Black Ops 2, then I would say Black Ops 1, then I would say Modern Warfare 3, and at the end I would be, uh, Modern Warfare Bruh. 2. Modern Warfare 3 gang rise up, Black Ops 2 gang rise up. Check this out, okay? Fun fact, Infinity War just buffed a barrel that doesn't exist in the game. The Lockman Bruh. sub, they have some 
nerfs yeah. and buffs there, and then they decide they want to change the LM Nebula barrel. Now, why is that important? Well, because the, ne the LM Nebula barrel is not in the fucking game. <laughs> it's not in the game. Man. There's even some discussion Whoa, about it up. on Reddit. Uh, someone said, what happened to the LM Nebula barrel attachment? There was a way to make like the silence, the integrated suppressor MP5 in the game. It's a Call of Duty 4 classic, actually, the, the MP5 SD. It's a great looking gun. It's got like a grip and a suppressor Damn. in one. It's very nice looking, aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. My favorite gun, actually, Call of Duty 4, pretty much. And this person's just talking about how, like, where where is it? It was in the beta. It's not here now. Uh, we even saw Oof. people using it in game in the um, Dark Waters campaign showcase that came out, you know, showing off the game. That is crazy. That is <laughs> that is crazy. You're talking about them not even adding content, but now they're subtracting content Bruh. from the game. That is insane. And check this out, guys, 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 guys. One guy says that the bots in DMZ probably have it. It's what makes them so deadly. Context, the bots in DMZ must have had that nebula barrel and that's what they patch. Boom, bucket! Even whatnot, it's not in the game. Fast forward to today, the attachment is nowhere to be found despite being an asset in earlier builds of the game. Now, this, this is interesting because, ah, uh, this is interesting because I don't know if they're just looking at metrics only and they're not playing the game. That could be that could be a thing. That could be a thing. Let, let's cover some Reddit stuff here because Ow. I think truthfully it's it's AI based. I think they have an AI bot balancing this game based on metrics alone. Guys, I need your honest thoughts on this one. Yeah, everybody gather around. Okay, gather around, gather around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's talk about this one, right? Yeah, y'all think that this game made is made by AI? Oh shit! or actual human beings 3000 deaths three years 3000 deaths or was it a lie was this game really made by ai or was this game really made by 3000 deaths because if you really think about it back in the days they pulled out new call of duty games with less than 3000 devs and under three years so now they're saying they took three years and 3000 devs was it all a lie you be the judge. Competitive news on Reddit says they probably buffed it thinking it was bad because nobody uses it, forgetting they didn't even put it in the damn game. Tornado damn. Hunter says, the worst part of this is that this dead ass could be the exact case. And then Nerion says what I said yet. Dead ass, my guy said. Bruh. Yesterday, essentially, many of their decisions feel like they were made by an AI reading statistics and not by <laughs> human beings playtesting the Man. actual game. Hmm, very interesting. That is crazy, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel like that going forward, because we have been, I guess, we're all bored. Let's let's be real. Bruh. Okay, we're all bored. I feel like that even the devs are bored. You cannot tell me that the devs are looking at this piece of Shiza and they're like, yeah, <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Look at us. We're proud of the game that we made. Millions and billions of people love it. Let's keep a buck 50, man. These devs are incompetent as hell, bro. At this point, Modern Warfare 2 is making, I cannot even believe I'm saying, I'm gonna say this, but it's making Van Garbage look better. Never have I thought that. I, I know if, if we go back in time, I was, I was, my only fear was that, guys, I don't want to hear anybody say <laughs> Van Garbage is better than Modern Warfare 2 come February. And February, it came and it went. And guess what? Everybody started saying that uh, Van Garbage uh, was better than Modern Warfare 2. Dang, I'm oh putting my on my tinfoil hat here. I'm ripping off my shirt and screaming about gay frogs like Alex Jones, at least internally I am. I can't really do that on commentary. I'll probably Yo, get the But Don't do uh, that. Don't you know, do that. <laughs> I, I, really, would this be surprising to anyone if, if robots designed this game? Because, man, man, I can't think of a single human being that could see all the things wrong with Modern Warfare Deuce here and think that it's... For the longest amount of time, we were saying that three years, 3,000 devs, now everybody's going to be saying, bro, it's made by AI, made by AI. That is why it's bad. I mean, that is straight up copium, I know, but it's kind of sad and it's kind of crazy. A playable, fun, functioning game. Now, maybe you don't buy the AI bit, right? Like maybe you just think it's incompetence. Well, we have arguments for that too. Let's get into those here. So Roller Coaster Tycoon says, crazy to think someone would literally see zero people using this attachment and thinking it's a balancing problem. Surely they could see no one ever used it, right? What the French are they doing in that studio? And then TV TDVX says, same as the Riot Shield nerfs. They saw an increase in KD when equipped and made it harder to use 
use, but did nothing about turtling. This is by far the worst game ever to try and use the Riot Shield as a primary. It's useless, and they've done nothing to address it being an easy choice as an overkill weapon. They don't play the game, they look at metrics and adjust. Man. Mm -hmm. So, whether I, it's an AI that. or a real person making these changes, these changes are based on metrics alone. You cannot make a fun fucking working goddamn- Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Dr. Disrespect actually went crazy. <laughs> this is some of the insane thing ever, man. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because we deadass have our very first image of GTA 6. I'm not sure if that video is still up on YouTube or not. Maybe they took it down or something. But if it's up, check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.